Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and we are back with another episode of Card City Nights. So, if I am recalling correctly, we should be just about ready to, uh... Go ahead and do this here at the Haunted House. Indeed, let us battle. Yeah, let's fight this freezing ghost. Best of three. Alright, so, last time was interesting. Hopefully uh, we don't run into quite so many problems. I think I've kind of got an idea of the, the basic strategy that I need to be kind of considering using basically at all times. But, of course, we will have to see how this goes. So, for example, do this and want to attack that. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> now I'm wishing that I had saved it so that I could attack that instead. But that is fine. Oh, interesting. Yep, this is going to be this is going to be a tricky one. Definitely. I'll just do that. I want to attack. And I guess I'll attack that. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be an interesting fight. <laughs> That's basically the realization I'm coming to here. I think my, my general strategy here is going to be just to kind of wait him out, and I think we should be alright doing that. At least that's kind of what it seems. Because it seems like his whole deck is just built around reviving stuff. Which, now that I think about it, um, does make like the last few battles make a like make more sense basically because the last few battles we've been kind of led to believe that the best thing to do is to um, basically just try and uh, oh where was I going with this I hate when this happens my mind it's melting my my brain my brain um anyways since i've got no idea what i'm talking about anymore oh uh, cuz it was leading us to believe that the best thing to do would be to just attack specific cards so that eventually they get a kind of a full board but obviously that does not work against this guy because basically every card he's had is a revive card, which is uh, definitely interesting. So I'm starting to think that there may be kind of more strategy to building decks than, uh, than I originally thought. Which is good, definitely, because, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you've been watching the last few episodes, you know, I was starting to get a little frustrated with uh, the way we were kind of being forced to play. See, that seems... Ah, uh, it's just so weird. Yeah, this whole deck is just, like, built around <clears throat> basically discarding stuff. I don't know if we'll really get another attack out, but <clears throat> I also don't think, <clears throat> ah, excuse me, I also don't think that he's going to be able to really do anything to uh, take us out, so I suppose I'm not all that worried. there. <clears throat> and 
we are quickly running into the part of the battle where he just won't be able to uh, draw any more cards. Which, uh, you know, I mean, I, I guess that's okay. It's not, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, that's for sure. But that's okay. So, this should uh, finish this off. Perfect. <clears throat> it does make for a slow battle, that's for sure. But, you know, if that's, if that's what we're going for, that's, that's fine. to do like longer combos because I know that's possible but I guess what I'm a little unsure of is how you really set those up because I'm in this position now where there's not much else that I could add to this really I don't know I'm just thinking because like there's definitely I think I saw like a Steam achievement for doing like a nine card combo. And I mean, would that just really come down to just total luck in setting something like that up? Or is there actually some amount of strategy that you can employ to actually set up that size combo? Oh, perfect. Well, at least this will be not quite so long then. Cool, so that was easy enough. I actually just got an achievement for an 8 turn win apparently. Okay. Coco Curses! Well it was fun while it lasted. I say you wouldn't happen to be looking for more of those legendary cards. Hee hee hee, mortal fool. Evil Puppet, where have you been? I've been here the whole time, you confused captain. I just dozed off. Oh, of course, you can't go far with legs made out of twigs. Silence! Don't you see, with the strength of a great card battler like this visitor here, we could conquer the world. Ooh, there he goes. Not shall stand between me and my dreams. The world shall bow to me, I tell you. You there, let us commence with a card battle. A battle for your soul. Oh, that man is rambling again. Battle him if you wish, for he might have something good. Okay, well, we'll battle him then. Sorry for my uh, cheesy voices. Oh, nice board. Awesome. Okay, so... this. Do that. Mmm, <clears throat> interesting. That certainly changes things. Um, I guess I'll do that. This is typically about the time when I would want to be...
removing one of his cards. And that didn't happen, but he's gonna do a defense combo. Yes. That was indeed correct. So let's do that. Ouch. So that is clearly not something that I want to let him use. Okay. <laughs> Turns out I didn't have much of a choice. Same thing again. Because <clears throat> this, uh, just because this battle definitely seems like more of a uh, disable his cards so that he can't play anything kind of battle. At least as far as I can tell. I mean, in a weird way, these battles kind of get, like, classifications based on kind of the strategy that you have to use. <clears throat> Which is actually pretty neat. I kind of like that. Is that what I want? Yeah, that can work. Although at this point, he's not going to be able to do anything, so... Not really particularly worried about it. I win. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know. My my mind has definitely been changed a bit in the last, uh, you know, the end of the last episode and then so far what we've seen in this episode. Because, uh, you know, what was happening was that I was just completely kind of misunderstanding Uh, you know, some of like, some of the kind of basic strategies, I guess. Not that they're necessarily basic. <clears throat> I guess what, just because like, I guess what the game never really explains is that um, just damaging your own cards, or not your own cards, just damaging their cards rather than damaging their health is like a perfectly valid and actually really helpful strategy. Okay, how do I how do I want to do this? Um Oh no, I can't do that cuz it's disabled. Right, because that also works on me, duh. Ouch. Um. Well, this is iffy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'm out. There's not anything that I can do here. So, that'll be a loss on this one, unfortunately. Oh, interesting. Never mind. I guess I'm potentially back in the game. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, my first priority here is going to be to get some more defense. kind of back on even ground again. Interesting. So at this point I'm just gonna start building like, uh, or at least trying to build like weird damage combos. stuff like this. And 
and uh, you know hopefully prevent him from being able to oh, I wasn't thinking about that so that's gonna move around jump around jump 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 and get down um, let's see yeah, I don't really know what I want to do here I guess I'll do that Obviously. Um, oh, I can do this though. Perfect. And then attack. Uh, does it matter? I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. I mean, I'll attack that one even though it'll hurt me. Because it doesn't really matter. So that'll be another win. Then I just got to win one more time. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. And this will be what? Is this our. I believe it's our third legendary card, if I'm calculating things correctly. Which, uh, that's not too bad. Okay, so I want to do that. And then that. And do that. Perfect. Exactly what we're hoping for. Okay. Oh no. Oh yeah, and that just removes all the cards. <laughs> so, we're back to square one again. Alright, now give me something that I can. Ah, uh, you jerk. Dang. Okay. Man, he's got way too many of those guys. Not pleased about that at all. Let's see what he puts out. Oh, come on, dude. Stop playing just that one card. Sick of that. I don't want to see that card anymore. Okay, good. Oh, why does that? Okay, I'm still not understanding that. It's weird that there are certain cards that only need two cards. I mean, I. Oh! Oh, it's because these have the plus! Okay, disregard everything I've said, ever, because clearly I'm just, I'm dumb, I don't know what I'm talking about. Holy cow. I can't even believe how, how did I miss all of that? Okay, so I actually don't want to mess with that stuff at all. necessarily oh <laughs> yeah I wasn't really thinking about that now was I yeah I really wasn't thinking about that um all right well I'm gonna place some of these guys just to get my defense back up I should still be okay I can't imagine that he's gonna be able to realistically build I mean I guess he could go all the way across there Oh, but he's got that. Right, duh. Man, um... Let's think about this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm stumped. I mean, 
at least he's just about out of being able to pull out more cards. Okay, so I can do that. Get that. Yep. Okay. Good deal so far. Then it should be good to go. And I should just uh, win this sucker. Let's find out if I'm correct. Yeah, perfect. Nice. So, that will actually get us another placed chain to the leads. Not interesting. So, that got us another legendary. No, no! My dream of world domination ruined, dashed, and burned! Oh, don't be so dramatic. But you don't understand, now that I lost, I owe my opponent my soul, my soul! Can't you just part with that card instead? That legendary that this fellow might be looking for. Oh, yes I suppose. Nice, so we got, uh, we got another legendary here. Cannot be targeted by opponent, attack combo, remove all cards. Cool. Now leave me to my misery, I can't even win a game of cards, just let me stand here and burn for a while. What childishness, stop burning you old coot. Fine, but I'll be skulking and you, I'll be sulking and you can't stop me. Ooh, it's a mysterious ghost, what's going on? Huh, who's that? I suppose you are done here then, visitor. Hovering sheet seems eager to play again, so come back soon. Uh, I'm actually going to leave. And, uh, I think we might just wrap it up here. Maybe I'll go through my my deck stuff here real quick. So, if this is not something that you're interested in, uh, you could leave now. I'm not going to do anything after this. So, that is, uh, that would be the cue if you would like to leave. So, let's see. What do I want? I think I don't need quite so many of those. And I don't like that thing at all. Let's see. Okay, so there are some new things that I was interested in adding that I saw, definitely. Just gotta figure out what those were. Oh, yeah, so that, for sure. Um, let's see. Maybe this? Yeah, I think I'll call that good. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to wrap up here. Just because uh, we're at kind of a nice stopping spot here. Just got, I believe, that was our third legendary. So, as always, feel free to comment if there's anything that you would like to comment on. And subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos every single day. And if you liked this episode of Card City Nights, please consider clicking the like button. Because that could help me out a lot and I appreciate everything that you do to help. So with all of that being said, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.